guys. So today I'm going to be making a video on what to bring to summer camp and I hope you enjoy. So my first item is going to be socks. I'm starting with the basics. You're going to need socks. Everyone needs socks. Like I know it's summer but you never know. There's going to be cold nights at the campfire. Your feet are going to get cold from playing in the creek. Anything can happen. You need some socks. And um, I brought short socks and tall socks. Just variety. Alright, um, continuing on with the basics, I have two sports bras, um, you never know what kind of athletics you're doing, you know, if you want to sleep in them, whatever, they're always good to have. I don't think that I would be needing a regular bra too much, but I packed one just in case. Um, also, I go to a summer camp where we do a lot of water activities, so it's always good to bring one or two swimsuits. Um, mine is from Victoria's Secret, it's from their 2015 line, um, Actually, these are just from Walmart. This is from Victoria's Secret. Um, I really like it. It's a really good swimsuit. Stays on. So my next item is going to be hats. Uh, I really like hats. I feel like at camp it's really easy to have a bad hair day. So, you know, whatever you're doing, just... This is a, actually a hat from my camp that I go to. It's from Trout Creek Bible Camp. And I encourage you, if you, it's in Oregon, I, if you live in Oregon, I encourage you to um, definitely check it out. It's a lot of fun. Alright, so continuing on with clothes, I've brought, I've packed actually two long sleeve shirts. Um, you know, sometimes you can get cold at night. I've got four pairs of leggings, just plain black leggings. Um, mine I got from Victoria's Secret, Walmart. Um, and then two from Nike. So, um, we do a lot of activities at my camp, and most of the time it's really warm. So I like to have just some plain old t-shirts that you can just throw on. You don't have to worry about getting them dirty um, or anything like that. I've got my uh, my Ramones t-shirt. Just um, a good old band t-shirt. So yeah, I've just got a couple t-shirts um, just <coughs> to run around in. Seeing so, yeah, running around, I pretty much live in athletic shorts, so I packed a couple pairs of these. These are two of mine. I just get the Nike kind. Um, they're really good, really durable. Some of them, actually most of them come with the inner lining already in them, and uh, depending on the size, I do and don't like to have that. Like these ones, I cut it out, and then these ones still have it in there, so um, that's always a good alternative. Also, I like to bring a pair of, like, board shorts because we have a river day. So it's always good to have these just in case you get in the water, anything like that. Um, at my summer camp, we have to be really modest. So we have to wear one-piece swimsuits or tankinis. And personally, I haven't found a tankini that looks good on a 16-year-old. So usually I just go in, like, a t-shirt and board shorts. Um, also, I like to bring a pair of sweatpants or two for... Um, you know, when the evenings get chillier. These ones are my three-quarter sweatpants from Pink. I really love them. They're about three years old, but they're still going strong. It's a really good brand. I have a lot of good clothes. Obviously, you're just going to want to wear jeans. Like, it's a beauty. Shorts. Jean shorts. These ones are the Perfect Fit Big John Spirit. I have no idea where they're from. Uh, my friend... Lena bought them for me, but uh, just some high-waisted, regular shorts like that. Okay, so that was my clothes. Um, now I'm going to get into other stuff. Shoes. I have my Nike Free Run 4.0s, really good, my fly knits, um, for running around doing activities. I also packed flip-flops. Um, they're just grubby. You can do whatever you want with them. And I got my white high top Converse, which aren't very white anymore. So it doesn't really matter. Now, onto toiletries. I don't ever brush my hair, but at camp I have to. It's a. Can't go without it. Just hairbrush. <coughs> Personally, I like men's deodorant. I don't. I don't really know why. <laughs> it's just, um. It smells good. You wanna smell it? Here, you smell it. <laughs> Also, 
I have this cute little um, safety pin box, I guess it is. But for me, I put my earrings and belly button rings and my gauges and um, everything like that in here. I also keep some bobby pins in it and some hair ties. It's just a really cute, it's got all these little, here, I'll show you. Um, I don't know if you can see it. It's got all these little, like, pocket container things that I've got. Belly button rings, belly button rings, belly button rings, bobby pins, and then hair ties up here. And it works really well and it stays shut. So I do that. Another thing I like to do is have these little um, containers. I got them at Fred Meyers for like $1.89, not even a piece, like all four of them were $1.89 together. Um, four little bottles like this, they're three ounce bottles, they're good for traveling. I put body lotion in one, conditioner in another, face wash in one, and shampoo in the last. And they're really good to just take to camp because they're easy to take. Speaking of showers. Towel. Most camps don't have towels. You need to remember to bring one, otherwise you're going to be screwed. Okay, moving on to random stuff I like to bring to camp. Fabric softeners, or whatever they're called. Uh, yeah, fabric softeners. Um, these are kind of something like you wouldn't really think of bringing into camp. I like to stick them in my shoes so my shoes don't stink. Um, also, if you wake up and your hair is really frizzy and you rub this on your hair, it makes it smooth again. Um, they're also good for, like, if you bring a dirty laundry bag so it doesn't start smelling really bad. Because, well, that was really strong. I have to sneeze. It's Woo! That was rough. I always bring a lighter, um, just because, what if I need to start a fire? What if I need to light a joint just kidding don't do that i'm under 21 i don't smoke it's legal it's legal in oregon for kids over 20 or people over 21 you can have eight ounces in your home you can make edibles you can grow up to four plants you can have one ounce out in public but you cannot smoke it in public and it is still illegal to drive under the influence of marijuana just throwing that out there all that is effective july 1st okay different topic um, eye drops. <laughs> um, not, I don't use, sometimes I get allergies, okay? I don't, no, you don't need to use this for uh, anything other than allergies. Or contacts, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I always bring a disposable camera to camp. Um, it's so good. You can just hit snap pictures of you and your friends and all the friends you make and all the memories you make. And then you can go get them developed and send them to your friends. It's really fun. Really cool. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Um, those are the main things I usually bring to camp. And uh, if you have any questions or comments or things you think I should add, please add them in the comments below. And subscribe to my channel. I would just like to say thank you to Tyler and Violet for Sloth Orgy and 666 Cantaloupe. Because uh, without them, I would have zero subscribers. And uh, 